Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Destiny Ariana and today I'm back with another video and this one will be about what are my next steps. Okay, so if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel below and click the bell notification so you can get notified every time I post a video. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just concluded my sophomore year of college and I am now a junior. And that is super crazy. So this video isn't exactly going to be my reflection of sophomore year. That was coming once I get my grades. But um, this one's just going to be telling you guys updates on my life um updates on what i'm going to be doing with myself for the summer and just telling you guys what's next for me you guys might know that i am now a melon maze undergraduate fellow so the melon maze undergraduate fellowship program is basically a fellowship for um students of color and minority students basically for them to increase diversity within higher education. So the program um, enlists two years of research along with an academic advisor, um, and it helps me prepare like a research project. And I get um, the resources and opportunities and workshops to help me develop skills to help me in grad school and for my PhD in the future. So um, I'm going to just talk a little bit about the process with that and why I'm super excited that I actually got it um, and what this means for me. So I decided to apply in January um, and I was like really scared because I was like okay this is for humanities, which is great. You know, I wanted to do research for a long time, but I never knew what the heck I'd be researching. Like, I, I don't know what I thought I would be. Like, I had no idea what I could possibly research. Like, I just was like, yeah, no. Like, I, is this for me? Because, you know, like, I don't really know what I want to do. Um, And it was a very tedious. It's a very um, rigorous and prestigious program. Um, so I had to put a lot of thought into my application, a lot of hard work. You have to get, um, recommendations from an academic advisor. So I like ran around did a bunch of running around looking for an academic advisor, which is super hard for me just because I wanted a person of color as my advisor. And I voted that super hard because there are faculty of color, but they're very limited. So for me, that was just like really tough. Um so finding that and like finding someone who the guidelines were someone who's taught you um and someone who knows you very well and like is within your field of study so I knew once thinking about the research that I wanted to study um like African-American representation in art so I didn't know what exactly I would do with that I'm sort of still trying to figure out what I'm doing with that but I know that that was my field so that sort of goes into like Africana studies um art history and visual arts so there's like it takes all of the professors of a color and sort of like goes like this like I was working with like basically nothing so I had to like figure out what the heck I was gonna do with that and like running around for meetings for months you know on top of my schoolwork and it was really stressful um for me but I ended up you know making it to the second round and you know got an interview I was so scared during that interview guys like it's just, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but when you get super, super, super excited about something that you really want, and, like, you have that interview, it's like, yo, if I bomb this, it's over. You know, like, it's over. Like, it's clipped. Like, done. But if I do well, like, this is all I want, you know? And, like, it became that point where this program was something I really wanted and I really saw myself doing. So I was just like, yo, this is it. Um, But then I heard back, like, two weeks later that I got it and I was super excited just because um I said this also in my interview but I thought that it'd be important to share with you guys like college for me has been really great um a great social experience um and you know learning independence and learning about myself but in terms of like academics I feel like it started to become something like high school where I'm just doing the assignments to do them and I'm not really getting like enjoyment out of it like you know like I love educating myself and college just started becoming a task and like things I just had to do and like that's where I felt like the life was being sucked out of me if that makes sense to you guys um 
So being able to do my own research, you know, and rekindle my passion for learning and like education and telling myself, you're going to go to graduate school. You're going to pursue your PhD and like you're going to do this. Like that was a really big step for me because I had no idea what I wanted to do when I graduated college, you know, like growing up, I was like, OK, you know, graduate high school, graduate college. And then like I find a job and like do whatever. But like as you start to go through that reality and like that adulthood and like figuring out what you're gonna do with yourself becomes super super real so for me it was just like wow okay big step in the right direction to try and figure out okay I want to pursue academia and this is what I'm gonna do in order to push myself to do that so if you guys are wondering what that means for me that means for the next two summers I will be researching and I'll be staying on Bowdoin's campus which is super exciting because I've never spent the summer in Maine so I'm like super excited to show you guys what that's even like um you know and I basically get like I feel like I've been missing that sort of like boot camp like time to struggle on my own terms like you know college like it beats you up and it teaches you you know how to become a better writer reader just a better person and like overall but like it's not on your terms so like your professor's terms and like your grades and stuff so for me to like take these workshops and do this for me like I think that I'm really so excited to actually like go through with this stuff and like really train myself in a way that I haven't been trained in a really long time you know I'm just excited because I feel like this is an opportunity for me to rekindle that love for education and just find out more about myself and what I want to do in the future um so yeah that's super cool you know we got Dr. Destiny Ariana I guess for y'all loading a lot of people are also like wondering what the heck I'm gonna like go to graduate school for like i'm still figuring all this stuff out um but i guess i'll tell you guys a little bit about what i'm gonna research um so my research is basically right now just thinking about like african-american representation um in art and like through the visual arts department um and just like my experiences with that and like understanding how it is taught who it caters to who it doesn't cater to etc etc you know look for me and you know google scholar in a couple years and maybe you'll see some stuff that i write who knows um but anyway so yeah um summer in maine is gonna be really really cool like super like, i don't think you guys understand how excited i am just to be like in maine for the summer just because i feel like Bowdoin is a beautiful campus but the winter is like crazy you know like and for like most of my time being there everything's covered in snow so to be there and like see it and like it's prime like i'm super excited to like have that experience and also share that with you guys so that's something i'm looking forward to um also like a lot of beach trips a lot of like things to do in maine to look forward to just a bunch of stuff that i am literally waiting to show you guys so i guess sidetracked from school and college and all that stuff um i also thought that i should tell you guys what direction my youtube channel is heading in so i thought like just i should be completely honest with you guys now so YouTube has been super hard for me to keep up with and do, especially going to a school like Bowdoin where you guys definitely know that my academics are number one and like that's all I'm really focused on and I try my best to sort of balance the two but it gets really difficult. When things get difficult in school I have like no time to record or like my mental is not in the space to record but I'm learning how to balance that and like I still want to talk to you guys about things like that so I'm still learning and growing with that. But I thought that it'd be really cool just to like introduce my channel moving towards more of like a lifestyle um, vlogger um, channel, I guess. That's what it's called, something like that. Um, just because I feel like my channel started off of me talking about my college experience. And now that I want to continue in education, you know, go to grad school, get my PhD. I think that these are all things that if you decide to do them, it'd be great to have people um to talk about these things especially me like being a black woman like I wish that you know I saw more representation of black women in higher education like on YouTube and really like talking about it so I definitely want to be that for other people so I think like talking about my lifestyle and like 
what's going on with my life and like my challenges and triumphs I guess within like the education um aspect of my life just sharing that with you all will be something really great and that's what I want to move towards and also like sharing really fun things like how the heck do I manage my hair in the summer yo like I don't know why my hair looks so good right now but it looks really good and I'm really proud but anyway um yeah so like things about like lifestyle hair um a lot of vlogs just because I love vlogging and I love showing people what I'm doing and I'll be going abroad okay so I know I said sidetrack on the college thing but I'm planning on going abroad in the spring so I'm not telling you guys where I want to go yet but stay tuned for that it's gonna be really cool bunch of vlogs coming up for that so i'm literally so 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 excited anyway let's think um so yeah i think that's just like a little update on me and like what's going on with me like i'm pretty much okay i'm still like reflecting on like my sophomore year and you guys will definitely get that sophomore year recap video coming up really soon once Polaris and my professors decide they want to grade my papers which you know we'll see what happens with that I'm like praying for the best but um that recap will be coming soon once I have everything settled and like finished thinking about you know the good and the bad the pretty the ugly all that good stuff all that bad stuff that happened um during my sophomore year but like now I just sort of want to get you guys excited for what's to come on this channel you know i love you all and i just am really appreciative of all of the people that support me everyone that has been here for me like i've had a youtube channel for two years now and like it's just crazy to me because you know youtube is like my like the start of like my college life and like my adulthood sort of like walking into this sphere so it means a lot to me because it is telling like my story um and it's something I'm gonna be able to look back on in a couple years so like it's really cool and really like emotional and personal experience for me but it's also like really great to talk to you guys you know hear from you guys and just like you know meet you guys too so I think that's like just amazing um and I'm just super excited for what's to come so you know thank you so much for your support i will not let you guys down like i'm super excited about everything that's happening in my life and i will try my best to continue to broadcast um just the real deal you know i'm always aimed to be very raw and authentic with you guys and that's something i definitely want to continue to do um throughout my life so thank you for your support um thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more content